Thanks very much. Not the least reason uh, for wishing to leave the EU is the impact it has on the intellectual capacity of our ministers. If you go through uh, the reasons, if you go through the big issues, democracy, uh, costs and effectiveness, and you listen to the arguments uh, against taking control of our own uh, democracy and economy, they are completely ludicrous. Take the arguments about democracy. Chris Hewn recently said, uh, Minister, Secretary of State for Energy, uh, we should pursue our national interests through the European Union, 8% of the vote. How much more difficult is that, having only 8%, than if you have 100% uh, control of your own uh, e economy? It, it is uh, irrational and enumerate. When you look at what control we have over our laws, when I was a minister, I used to get the briefings which say, we can't answer this because 80% of the laws uh, relating to agriculture are determined by the EU. We simply cannot control most areas uh, of our law and our economy. So democracy is the big argument, I believe, for, for leaving the EU. We should control ourselves. But if we look also at the costs, Ruth's just been uh, through the costs, uh, and those are the bold figures. But how annoyed do I get every time I see the 12 stars of the European Union saying that they have funded this organisation? What they should say, because for every pound we put in, we only get 50 pence back through those schemes, <laughs> is that this scheme cost you twice as much as it would have done if you'd just done it yourself as a sovereign nation. But ministers will tell you that you will lose this grant to that industry, you will lose that money going to a voluntary organisation or a museum. Uh, it's, it's nonsense. Finally, the effectiveness of the EU. We're told that it's an effective organisation. Well, you just have to read the financial pages, the front pages, the political pages. The European Union, not just the Euro, is in absolute panic and crisis. It's leading the world to economic catastrophe. And the frightening thing about it, the frightening thing about it when people say we have to do this, is that that crisis is soluble very easily. But the reason that Barroso and Merkel and Sarkozy are not solving it is because they want to protect the European projects of deeper integration and wider integration. They find that more important than solving uh, the crisis uh, for everybody in the European zone and, in, in many ways, the world uh, economy. And the, the final uh, point, which Ruth dealt with in detail, is the benefits that accrue. Most of the benefits are disbenefits. Having a trade uh, deficit does not mean uh, that we have three and a half million jobs that would disappear uh, if we left the European Union. It might, it might mean that we did rather better trading with exactly the same uh, countries and change those terms uh, of, of trade. I believed in 1975 when I voted to come out of the European Union that we, sh uh, when I voted to come out of the EEC, that we shouldn't be in it. Now uh, that it is a completely different, more powerful organisation which has more control of all of our lives, I think we need a referendum and should vote to come out. Thank you.